Welcome back to another video guys. In this video we're going to go over how to install the patio pet door with a screen door adapter. Included with your patio pet door, you'll have seal locking plate, security plate, two self-tapping screws, four thumb screws, a draft stopper, an instruction manual, two foam rectangular weather seals, and two D-shaped weather seals. First, get the long thumb screws and put them loosely into the pet door. Then, put the patio pet door into the track. Push the top plate up and tighten the thumb screws. Then, we'll get the short thumb screws and the security plate Put them on the centre hole of the patio pet door, closest to the door frame. Next, we can use the sliding door to push the pet door into the tracks. Then you'll need to mark the security plate on the frame with a pencil. Then we'll attach the security plate to the frame using the self-tapping screws. Then we'll put the pet door back into the track, push the top piece up, tighten the thumb screws, and push the pet door back over to the side of the track. Then we can insert the thumb screw. Now the pet door is attached to your frame. So the screen door adapter comes in a length of 211 centimeters. And you may need to cut that to fit it into your tray. So first off, we need to measure the height. Now we're going to measure from the highest point at the bottom to the lowest point at the top. Mark your measurement on the adapter, remembering to leave up to 5mm just to get the adapter in. Now we need to cut the mark, you can either use a hacksaw or we can use a jigsaw. So now we've cut the adapter, we need to attach it to the pet door. You're going to need something soft like a mallet to hit it in. Ensure these two grooves go into the grooves on the pet door. Start from the bottom and work your way up. Now we're going to screw the adapter to the pet door. Ensure that the screw goes through the adapter and into the side of the pet door and you can use the self tap as provided. Now you need to test the placement of the screw door adapter. Next, remove the sliding door lock. To do this, you have to remove the cover off of it first. Then we'll remove the lock. Now we need to attach the lock to the adapter. To do that, we'll put the lock up to the handle and lock the lock. Close the sliding door and position the lock. And now we can screw. Before you put the second screw in, just make sure the lock is fully adjusted.
Then we can put the cover back onto the lock. If needed, you can then trim the screws off on the opposite side using pliers or snips. Then remove the latch off of the screen door. Then attach the latch to your lock on your screen door. Close your screen door and then mark where the latch sits. Then put the latch into the place you marked and screw it in. Then you can trim the screws off on the opposite side using snips, pliers, or an angle grinder. Now your screen door and sliding door should close and latch on.